Welcome back my friends to the Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough. This is actually part 12 of our playthrough and also the ending of the early access. We're going to finish it today. However, there's actually a part of the map that we did miss. So I'll be doing another episode about that part. And also because this game has so many roleplay decisions, I'm going to be doing another series of videos to sort of show you guys what happens if you go for an extremely evil playthrough. So this series is definitely not over yet, even though this is the last episode of Act 1, which completes the early access version of the playthrough. So in this episode, guys, we are going to be discovering this area of the Underdark because there's still lots of things hidden here that we haven't found yet. And then we will also, because you guys told me in my last video where I covered the Arcane Tower, um, which is also linked down below in the description with all the other videos in the playlist. So what, what actually I didn't realize was there's another floor to this tower. And in order to access the final floor, carrying on from yesterday's video, after you've spoken to Bernard, you'll find this table next to him. On this table, there's actually a ring here. Even with pressing Oh, I was like guiding light. Is that some kind of spell? No, there's actually a ring here. An uncommon ring used by the previous owner to access both the Underdark's darkest corners and her own basement. This ring seems to reflect light where there should be none. It also hints at there being other secrets beyond just this castle. But clearly, if we go ahead and equip this ring, to pick it up, go ahead and let Danny equip it. So first off, it gives us a light source, and secondly, it reveals a secret. My ring, it lit up. Must be resonating here. So you can see now there's another floor on the tower. Which is crazy, because it takes you into like the loft of the underdark so we're now sitting in the cavern it's so deceiving because like yesterday's video you know according to the architecture of the floor below you know you look at the architecture of the floor below and it looks like oh yeah this is a hundred percent the top of the building but no apparently we have another floor here the arcane tower here we are so let's explore this floor now And see what we can find. Apparently there's a unique staff here according to you guys in the comments section. Let's quickly look at these bookshelves though because there's a bunch of scrolls here as well. It's always extremely useful to me. Man that sound effect is so trippy. Pile of books. Nothing. Nothing my friends. Okay so we have lots of tongues of madness. A round flask. Um, a staff of arcane blessing. You see, if you don't press alt, you always miss these things. Uncommon two-handed melee weapon. 1d6 bludgeoning. Though dust has settled into every nook and cranny of this staff, it still emanates a soothing aura. Its previous owner cast it aside, forgotten, because there was nobody to bless. The holder of this item gains bless. Level 1. Enchantment. Level 1. Mistress blessing. Bless grants an additional 1d4 to saving throws and normal attacks, and an additional 2d4 to spells using attack rolls. Really good. If we give this to Gale, then both he and Shadowheart will know level 1 Bless, which uh, is pretty sick, especially for a staff, because he doesn't really have a good one at the moment. Kind of like the look of the staff as well. Looks pretty sick. Very... Um, cleric-like, isn't it? But there's another book here to read. And a heavy chest hidden in the corner here with some gold. And De Hurst's Diary. The otherwise plain book has the words Le De Hurst and Diary written on the front in silver. Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary? Not a research journal, but a real diary. I guess when every soul likes to kill you rather than converse with you, Talking to a book starts to make sense. And who would have thought three years ago that I would have been called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with the other clerics of Mistra? Right at the apex of my studies, I have all the pieces, but I have barely started my treaty. No matter, I will take my ring with me to show them a glimpse of the possibilities. 
I will leave you, my dear book, here together with the rest of my research waiting to be finished. I should be back before next Night Owl. Okay, so maybe we can find his unique ring then in Baldur's Gate. Now we know he went there. Some more Timus spores down there, which you need for the... Oh, one sec. We can go even further up. Wait, where does this come out of? The Arcane Tower. Oh, wait, what's that? This leads to... Is this a secret passage? Ah. So this leads us back to the basement. Kind of crazy how I never realized how you open that door. I wonder if a perception check would have allowed us to unlock it from this side even. Right, let's go back round to the lift then. And uh, we can go ahead and exit the arcane tower. And continue on our journey in exploring this area of darkness. Okay, here we are back at the front entrance. So now we can go ahead and exit. And I just want to say, guys, um, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much if you've, like, watched this whole playthrough of Baldur's you Gate 3. You quite forward with your compliments earlier. We'd only just met. Seize the day, I say. More now than ever. Indeed, Gale. So, if guys... You pull a muscle in your haste. <laughs> Very shallow heart reply there. But yeah, guys, I just want to say thanks so much for all your support, all the likes on the video, all the comments as well. Really help the YouTube algorithm. Um, and, you know, going forward, we'll be doing lots of, like, sort of funny clips of things we didn't cover in this playthrough. And also, like, what happens if you make other evil decisions. Uh, especially decisions I've kind of come to learn from you guys that a lot of people don't seem to make. But I quite enjoy some just seeing what happens sometimes. So, this is an unexplored area now, and um, we're going to continue northward. There are a few torch stalks to take care of, and mushrooms around here. I wonder, it kind of looks like we can climb up there, actually, which is interesting. Okay, well, let's get Danny uh, separate from the party here, and we will just get rid of these mushrooms. Whoa, okay, bit of a chain reaction there. Okay, so... This fairy ring isn't glowing like the rest. Dead drow, nine gold. Half this drow's body's been crushed. Must have fallen from pretty high up. Wonder what it fell from. Some gold here, though. The drow is empty. Maybe there's actually another place to the Underdark here if these drow have dropped down from, from somewhere. Uh, oh, there's actually some kind of way to get up there as well. Interesting. It also looks like I can jump on here. On here. Oh, yeah, I can jump on there. Something over there. Ah. Damn. Invest some of these mushrooms are illusions. That makes sense now. Okay. That's why he fell. I mean, if I test this one... I assume the only other place I can jump is here. Oh, it's an Something illusion! Oh, God. Okay, so... You can't climb up this thing, then, can you? You must just have to get to the top another way. There's a strange... Alright, well, there's another route down here, seemingly. If I come all the way around, we should be able to go this way. Let's bring Gale over as well. He's going to have to cast Featherfall on Danny. Oh god. No, Danny. Oh god. I thought he was going to die. But he's alive, thank goodness. Alright, let's actually quickly camp here so I don't die. And then we'll carry on in the morning, my friends. Gale wants to talk, eh? Sorry, he wants to absorb another artifact of mine. Um, okay, so there's other mushrooms here we can jump across too. However, I'm sure some of them are illusions. So let's try and... We can jump all the way to the end. Okay, let's get Gale to cast Featherfall then. City can I even jump all the way across? I can jump to this one. Oh, okay. This is a real mushroom, thank God. 
Let's jump down. So there's actually a body here. Oh god, what was that? That was weird. I took some damage. The helmet of autonomy. That looks sick. The metal bolted to the helmet's forehead is engraved with a faded script. Though the words have become illegible, their magic remains. The wearer of this item gains proficiency in wisdom saving throws. So I guess we should give this to Gale, really. It looks pretty cool, actually, as a helmet, though, um, I don't know, maybe as a better person to give it to. Gale, I wish, you know, there was like a toggled helmet option in the game. They've not added it yet, though. Okay, so the Festering Cove is a new location we've just discovered. I'm going to get into sneak mode here. What is this? What have we found here, my friends? Cool Drip the Zealous. Kutoa. Okay, let's get the rest of our followers down here. This is very strange. It's always such a nightmare to like jump across these sort of platforms, you know? Yeah, okay. Right, now we can all go downstairs. Great. Here we are. Let's take a short rest so we're full health again. Okay, I'm gonna go down there and talk to them, I think. Let's leave everyone else in sneak mode at the top here, though. You know, just in case something kicks off. Alright, so we'll get Danny to go down and do the talking. I don't really know what to expect from these things. Let's just walk down. They're like worshipping something here. Our blood to fill your oceans. Oh, blessed Poal. Our bones to build your temple in the deep. Was that? A wave of pure devotion washes over you, and with every surge, you feel a presence grow in response. Words, priest! Promises! Your god wants proof! Wants blood! These beings are Kuatoa, former Mind Flayer slaves that manifest their gods through sheer belief. <laughs> you, our Lord of Murder, demands sacrifice. You will be an offering for the great god Bual. Bual? What? Try to determine who or what they're talking about. Bual. Who is the god of murder? You give it a rest, your god isn't real. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we know from our religion check there that they they just worship things that they create out of nothing so i'm gonna tell him the truth not real <laughs> you sense a flicker of doubt brief but enough for an instant the godly presence falters wow no! No! He's a fabrication. Whatever you created him for, you don't need him. Look at me. If there is a god of death, it is me. I am the captain now. Intelligence. Seriously. Bual? Whatever this thing is, he didn't feed you a good lie. Let's go for persuasion. I think we're probably going to hit it with that. One! Oh, easy. Don't even need... Oh, luckily I rolled the two. <laughs> Couldn't have failed, but hey. Oh, no! Shut it! Shut your mouth. You feel the presence waver. One moment a god of awesome power. The next, a common red cap. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, bollocks. Don't do anything <laughs> hasty now. The fish folk got plenty of power. We can share. Blessed boar. What? Shut it, you. I'm talking to... My chosen. Chosen got power. You want power, don't ya? To priest, well, bow before Bual the Chosen. I'll just kill you and claim it for myself. I need your power or theirs. Kiss my ass then. This Lord of Murder likes doing his own dirty work. Kill! Kill for Bual! No, are they on? Oh no! 
No, 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 Danny. You're not in a good position. I love the sounds they make. Luckily, I've dodged everything so far. Okay. Amazing. Truly amazing. Oh, they're actually a level four. They're pretty beefy, you know? We kind of need to get out of here, dude. Let's jump. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to take damage there, but we're good. All right, let's go up here. Then we can go ahead and shoot. Pin him down. Little Bual. Focus fire on him. Uh, I've got the rest of my team actually sitting at the back here. Let's sneak in Gale. Then I can go ahead and... What are these guys using? Are they using ranged weapons? It looks like they're all melee. Uh, no matter. We're going to use a shocking bolt on Bual's chosen. Boom! Look at that damage. Thick. Lazelle, okay, how are you going to fare if you, like, jump in here? Um, what's the best way of doing this? I don't know if I kill him. Will everyone else still attack me? Let's activate our jump ability here. Join the battle. Wait, what? Oh, they saw me. That's so dumb. I hate that so much. Pass the sneak check. Great, so now she just doesn't get a turn. So pointless. Like, I should be the one surprising them. I don't know how it works in D&D, but it makes no sense in this game mode. Like, I should be the one sneaking up. You didn't know I was here, and then I get, like, to attack you still. Shouldn't, like, stop the attack. All right, end turn. Oh, okay. This thing is ranged. Oh, there's another thing up here I forgot about. Oh, Shadowheart got wrecked there. Nine damage. Eight damage? It can go twice. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. All targeting Gale again, obviously. It's the only character we have in our party, after all. No, 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 no. The sound effects are amazing. Let's be honest. Come on, Lazelle. Oh, God. Critical hit. Not what you want. Whoa. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wait. Oh, he's got, he's got two attacks, obviously. He's got a third attack? No, okay. We're good. Oh, God. We can push him off. No worries. Oh, wait, I'm bleeding now? Okay. Okay, so it's Danny's go. First, I'm going to push this guy off. Does free damage only. All right. And then I'm going to shoot this stupid wow. Oh, one sec. Have we saved him? No, no, we haven't saved anyone. They're still under his curse. We've got to end our turn, let everyone else take their turn now. They're all frightened, which is very good for us, for sure. I'm trying to cast healing wounds on ourselves because we really don't want to die right now. Um, and then let's go ahead and use mirror image then. So at least we hopefully won't get hit next turn. Uh, and then, Gale, what are you going to do? You kind of need to heal yourself, to be honest. Let's just go ahead and use shocking bolt. 55% chance to hit, eh? We'll go for that one back there then. Four damage. At least we can reactivate it. And Lazelle, I'm going to go ahead and cleave with Lazelle. Oh, very nice damage. Very good indeed. Can I even shove this one down the stairs? Doesn't take any damage. Kind of annoying. Uh, end our turn then. Danny can apparently still take a turn, which is nice. So, who am I going to shoot is the question. Might as well try and get rid of this guy. Wow, that was very good. Got one down. Perfect. Very like this on our turn. So we don't hopefully get destroyed here. Please attack Danny. Oh, God. Gale is so close to dying. 
these stupid little frog sounds. Oh, have they got blowpipes? Is that meant to be what they're using? Gale is so going to die right now. Oh my god, he's alive. I really need to heal him. Oh no, there's a ladder behind us. Oh boy, ensnared. Okay, Shadowheart, it's your turn. Let's go ahead and jump over to the bottom of this. And we can, like, walk up here. I don't know if I'm going to get hit by this guy. No, I've not been hit yet. Okay, so hopefully I can't hear anymore. Great. Uh, that's not good. Maybe I can at least put out the fire on Gale. And we can end our turn. Oh, Lizelle got hit. No worries. Should be able to attack back, but she's not doing anything. Apparently there's room for one more up here. One more to attack Gale, obviously. That's the only point of him, after all. Uh, okay. Oh, we kind of want to finish off this guy. Misses. Great. Let's use uh, Action Surge. Oh my god, you're useless. Gale's turn now. Look at this. Gale's in such a great position here, isn't he? Can't wait. So in reality, I should be able to kill one of these with a spell. Oh, yes, we killed them both. Gail, you're a bloody machine. Look at that. God damn. Okay, now we've just got to get you in a position where you don't immediately die. Uh, can you hide? Don't have any health. You can drink a health potion. That's good. Might as well do that. Keep you alive, mate. End our turn. Okay, he's shooting Lazelle. Eight damage. Not crazy. Oh, my God. Just casually takes like two turns, does 18 damage, like fine, yeah. Oh well, 17. Oh my god, why do they all hate Gale so much? Please leave Gale alone. I've got to shoot this guy up here, really. Could you do... No, no, let's, let's get rid of this guy. Wow! End turn, I guess. This guy's going to shoot Gale, guaranteed. Oh no, he actually tried to go for Danny. I think this rock's in the way. Otherwise, he definitely would have tried to kill Gale. But he's, he's running over so he can see Gale. Oh gosh, please hit something. Shadowheart. Why is it screaming at me? Oh my god, it's shooting Danny. Please, please. I hate how they can all go twice. It's kind of triggering to be honest. I think I might heal Danny at this point. Plus 10 health. It's not amazing. We need it, nonetheless. Inflict wounds on this thing might be worth doing. 19 damage, very nice. We really did need that as well. Right, I'm gonna run round. Hopefully I can help out my squad. Gale, uh, you could just yeet this guy, to be honest, with your magic missiles. Torment. Yeet! Look at that damage. All right, now we're just going to jump behind Shadowheart so no one can see us. And we're going to sit there in the corner and cry. Okay, uh, can we actually hit this guy this time? Maybe, maybe. You ready? Oh my god, I hit a 16 and silenced him. Amazing. It's pretty good, actually. One sec. Can I just push him off the map? No. Oh god, that's kind of annoying, to be honest. We can end our turn. He's only got two health. I guarantee he just kills Danny. Oh, he did one damage. That's not bad. Please leave us alone. Okay, so I can push this thing off first. Four damage. Good, good. So we killed one. 94% chance of hitting. Natural 20. Natural 20! Didn't kill it. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. You know what, I'm just going to sit back here for now. I don't want to risk Danny dying. Okay, this thing's going to climb back up and probably shoot Lazelle now. I didn't think these frog soldiers would be so terribly powerful. Oh man, she's on six health. Luckily, it's our turn next. Shadowheart can probably heal her. 
Fantastic. All right, I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw some leather boots at this one. Did eight damage. Are you kidding me? I just threw a pair of boots at him that weigh one. He did eight damage, which is more than a bloody mace deals. Shadow Heart has never dealt that much damage with a mace. She does more with leather boots. I should be throwing random objects at people more often. I mean, goodness me. Can you actually jump? Because you have your ability active still. Boom. Surprise, mother... Oh, yeah, beautiful. Get Rex up. Hopefully she doesn't die next turn. Goodness me. Danny, please finish it. Thank God. Whew. That was intense, mate. All right, let's have a look around this place. We've just killed all of these uh, fish folk. Clamshells, gold, a javelin, eh? They were throwing javelins at us. No wonder they hurt so much. This one had a crossbow, apparently. You wouldn't have been able to tell, though, would you? Sickle of Bual. Infused with inconceivable might of the formidable Bual. Um, dippable light. Oh, it has. it's a light source. So that's all it is, essentially. We can also take javelins to throw, which I never actually considered. Uh, kind of sounds a bit dumb, but let's give them all to Shadowheart because she's useless otherwise. Now Danny has an additional light source on his dual weapons. Not that he needs it. Maybe it increases his chance to hit even further. There's actually a gilded chest up here. With a bronze ring. What else is in this strange place? I'm going to quickly camp because, uh, you know, before I loot everything, otherwise we'll die. Well, this one has a bronze ring. We should have, like, random bits of jewelry and fish, to be honest. And pick up those leather boots so we can throw those again, for sure. Alright, let's go up here then and see what we can find. This is actually an upturned boat, which is pretty cool, like his throne. I'll give him that. Pretty good use of uh, terrain. Nothing here. Some mushrooms down there, though. Whoa, why would you do that? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Why would the game be like, okay, I guess I guess I commit suicide now. Yeah, great. Alright, let's actually get Danny to jump down here. You know, hopefully he doesn't die. Yate! That might be worth a look. Oh, there's a secret bottle here. If Danny can stop moaning from his fool. Message in a bottle, interesting. Dad, sorry I stopped writing. We ran out of paper on the road. I guess this is from the Jurids. Maybe that's why they're so mad at us. I hope this finds you. Zevalor says you got lost and that your old house is gone. But I read a book that says all rivers find their way to Stikes. When you get it, can you write back in Boulder's Gate? Or maybe come visit. I'll write again when I get more paper. Donny. Wasn't Donny the little, um, the little, uh, tiefling we met? Kind of interesting, though. Little bit of secret lore hidden there. A wooden barrel. Oh, what's that? A stuffed bear. Take the stuffed bear. Might be useful to give to Shadow Heart later. Oh, what's this? There's some weird stuff going on here. Gold. There's a lot of gold. Lord of Murder's Songbook. Blood in my heart, blood on my hands, raise to you, Lord, raise to you, skin under my nails, hair in my teeth, at your altar, Lord, at your altar. Okay. Murdering intensifies. I don't think there's actually anything over here. Okay, let's go back. We've fully explored this little secret area of the gnomes. We found the fish people, their ancient folk, and also murdered them all. I think that's pretty good for a day's work, guys. Let's climb out of this area. Now we need to get back by jumping. Alright, let's go ahead and rest so we're full health again. And now, my friends, we need to... So now, guys, there's actually another area down here to the right that we need to explore as well. There's an area you can get to here with some kind of portal. 
I don't know what it is though, or how we can access it. It looks like you can get up these mushrooms here. Maybe I can use Lazelle uh, and her special ability. Let's go ahead and jump. Come over here. You jump there? Yeah, okay. Jump here. Perfect. Something over there. Oh god, oh god, please don't die. Okay, we're at the top. Perfect. There's a torch and a skull. Investigation failed. I mean, that looks like a portal that takes me somewhere. Let's just loot this stuff. Someone didn't want us intruding, which means there's something worth finding. Oh, what's this? There's a green thing. Body experience. Okay. Hag's lair. Would that I could kill her twice over. Wait, this is the Hag's lair we... What? This is the Hag's lair we already explored? Marina's over here? Yeah. What the hell? How do we get here? Dude, this is nuts. Oh my god. I think I know where we are. This is an illusion, isn't it? Why is that? There must be like a lever you can pull on this side then maybe. But it's crazy to think that would have taken us all the way down there to the Underdark. So she had access to that as well. I mean, obviously if I use Featherfall, I could if I want to jump down there. But uh, it seems like you can still get here though. If you like jump across and then across and then down there. Because this is, you know, where all the poison clouds were. And the people with the masks. Dude, that's nuts. Alright, let's let's go back to the rest of our party. What the hell? Like, that actually exists? I'm so surprised. It's just this room that leads back to the hag's lair. Uh, and then there's this as well. Where does this go? Does it take it down to the bottom? Oh, it does. Wait, so we could have just walked on there the whole time? I mean, that would have been a lot easier for our party that's standing just over here. Lol. Okay, great. Well, at least we managed to solve the situation anyway. Alright, so from this portal, it also looks like if you go over here, there's actually like a rock you can climb. Um, which is right next to where we jumped across these mushrooms, actually. Let's climb up here. See where we end up. Oh, there's a big spider web. Okay. Alright, let's stand back here, guys. I'm going to get Danny to... Just shoot it in stealth mode in case any spiders trigger from a mile or eight. Okay. We've made our way like a way through here. Oh, actually, it's just kind of like a secret treasure store. Some gold. This is locked. Bunch of empty boxes and spider webs. Guess Loth's cultists haven't been back here in a while. Drow studded leather armor. Oh! Plus three dexterity. Dude, that's going to work so well with my helmet. Equip that immediately. Basilisk oil, creased page, a worn scrap of paper folded tightly. Dark Mother, Weaver of Destiny, offer us a blessing to slay your foes. May they be strangled by threads of fate and died red in your image. Loth be praised. Okay, so just some drow worshipping Loth there. It looks like you can actually jump down to that mushroom if you wanted with Featherfall. We could, like a little shortcut back round. Interesting, I didn't notice this place when we walked down there earlier. All the spider eggs as well, disgusting. Right, so it seems like we can actually go further up here. I'll bring the rest of my party in a moment. Let's actually hide. So, it looks like I can climb up here as well. Or we can go up here, but there's loads of poison. And a backpack. Now I could obviously use the fire to get rid of it. But I think what I'll do is just jump over here for now. Let's climb up. Hmm. 
Bop. Oh god, please don't explode. Okay, yeah, let's actually shoot that. It did hit me. Lol. Well, at least we didn't get pushed on the ground or something. Is there a skeleton here? Some gold. Nothing over there. Petrified drow. Interesting. There's lots of petrified drow. There's going to be something here, isn't there? I wonder if we can jump down there without triggering the poison. Yes. Perception failed. Okay. Some loot here. That's curious. What's curious? I mean, we can see the bag. A silver necklace and a hand crossbow. Oh, boy! Oh, is that what was curious then, buddy? Jesus Christ. A raptured stone. Yeah, I guess that was the trap, right? There's also a torch here. And then we can go back down. But I want to go up here and see what that is. Maybe we can just dodge this poison. Yeah, perfect. I think I might need to get the rest of my party before we venture up here. But right now, we are just here. You can see the Underdark Fort is over here. So that's where Danny is. There's loads of petrified drow around here. Like, I don't know what happened in Saloon's Fortress, but my goodness. All right, let's get the rest of our companions. Imagine making that jump in real life. Like, God, there's no way, dude. Look across, Gale. Can you not make it? Gale can't make this. Gale can come this way, then. Oh, that, mate, there's no way he can get across here, though. Ah! Oh! Okay, somehow Gale survived that jumped across. Wait, what's going on? Gale! Gale, where are you going? Gale? Gale? Gale, please. Quick, quick, camp, 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 camp. A player currently can't travel to the camp. A character in your party is dead. You just descended into the darkness. It was the first time any of our characters have died. Gale was just like, that's it, I'm out. And then he left. Where even is he? Gale has discovered the Underdark. Holy crap. What? What is going on? Okay, well, this is clearly a bug. Somehow Gale died, ended up in the camp, and then killed Astorian. What is going on? What? <laughs> okay. All right, guys, so what I did is I fast-traveled to the Underdark Fort, because I think there's actually a second route we can use to get there. That might be a little bit more gale friendly. So we're just in front of Saluna's dark fortress. I'm hoping uh, if Gale can cast Featherfall team, that we can actually jump over here. Now, I think this is a very much like a one way sort of trip, but um, let's actually go in sneak mode here. Get Danny to jump after. Wait. Okay, everyone's across. Now it looks like we have to jump up here as well. Oh, okay, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna take damage from that. I'll shoot that one down to you. What is this? There's loads of gold? Oh, there's like some kind of offering going on over here. But everyone's been petrified by whatever was revealed. Okay, let's leave Danny down there. Get the rest of the team to jump across. All right, I'm leaving Gale up the top here. I think we're going to get Danny to go ahead and check this area out. See, there's a body here to search. Uh, there's another torch stalk up here. What is with all this gold there? Oh, God, God. That is a dragon egg mushroom. You need to be careful. I think those are the ones that explode with poison. I wonder if that will explode anything. We get rid of it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Go back into hiding. Okay, there's some thieves tools here. Gold. And a petrified drow. I mean, I can pickpocket for some reason. Pickpocket failed. How? Frayed drowhood as well. Dexterity saving throws plus one. Interesting. I can actually give that to my followers. We could all wear drow gear if we so pleased. 
Dude, there's like over a thousand gold here, but that looks like a trap. This is where we picked up the rucksack earlier. Before Gale died. Let's cast mirror image on myself. And I'm gonna walk up here. Have a look. Okay, Jesus. A what is that? Oh my god, it's a 10 damage. How many goes does this thing get? Hiding success. Okay, Danny is still hidden. Oh god, Danny, 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 you need to move over here. Attack. Okay, I just need to attack it because otherwise I'm going to get detected. Um, so this drow has been charmed. She is not on an enemy team. Tenth the daughter of House Draconet. How long has she been frozen for? And is this treasure been baiting people for Manelia? Okay, well, first things first. We're going to have to heal ourselves. Take you. And then we're going to have to go over here and attack this thing, I guess. Ah! Misses. I do. Let's see if we can get our cat here to sneak into combat. It's going to be quite difficult to actually get in there without being detected. Hiding successful. Yay. Sneak attack. Free damage. I'll take it. The Zell is also sneaking over here. I kind of want to get her involved. All right. Let's sneak to the edge. And then I think we'll go ahead and run up here and attack. I don't know if this is going to work sneaking wise. It's very dark though. So maybe... Nope, hiding failed. Okay, so we just got to stand there now and accept our fate. We also have Gale, who uh, is over here. He might actually be able to attack this thing. I'm going to go for a Witch Bolt. Ooh, critical hit. 10 damage. Okay, not bad, not bad. The Drow is natural 20. Wait, why is the Drow hitting Danny? What? It said that they were friendly. What? Where is it going now? Jesus Christ. Danny's dead now because I didn't expect them to be enemies. It's so weird. Why would they just start attacking me? It said they're friendly as well. Like, at least give me a chance. Jesus. Let's get Lazelle to go ahead and jump over towards this stupid drow here. And then I'm going to go ahead and use menacing attack on it. Which we miss! I'm going to use Inflict Wounds on this guy. Maybe I can kill him. 25 damage. Oh, he's on one health. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of awkward for us, really. All right, let's end our turn. Okay, it's the cat's turn. I'm going to send in the cat here, actually. Oh, no, the cat can't reach him. Oh, can I jump there? Okay, I can jump here. So maybe if I can do one damage, he'll be dead. Wait, I can't. Why can I not reach? Can you not attack him? Okay, that's weird. It said target was too far, but I could attack him. Very strange. Uh, enter. Right, this drow is attacking this giant eye of Sauron now. Now she's running away. Oh no, it's got another drow. I'm just going to focus on killing the drow for now. Danny's downed again. God. Where did it go? It's down here now. God. It's not good at all. Death saving throw successful. Can I use Witch Bolt on it again? Did it, I only did two damage. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, Shadow Heart needs to res Danny again. Danny does so much damage, even if he's alive on one health, it's worth him being alive, you know? Um, okay, I could potentially push these guys off, but I just need to get to them. Let's go ahead and shoot this one, which we miss. I guess I can only run towards her then, since we have no movement. Then the cat's turn. The cat can jump down here. Attack this row, which you miss. I would have thought cat should be able to see in the dark. I mean, it's not just me, right? Surely that makes sense. Can I push this guy off? I would have thought that would just yeet him into oblivion, right? Into the poison. Sure. 
Wait, how did he not fall? Are you joking? How? I can also attack him. Which I miss as well. Lazelle's so useless. Why is she missing everything? Action search. Try again. Critical hit. Wow. Thank you, game. Hopefully she'll attack him again when she walks past. 13 damage back. Oh my god. Nice dodge there, Lazelle. Wow, this lady's an insane archer. Uh-oh, there's another drow to kill now. Oh my god, luckily she just ended that drow's life. Woo. Okay, we saved being paralyzed, I think. I thought he was going to push him off. <laughs> just yeets him from behind with the eyeball. Okay, Danny is now up, so... Should I focus fire on this now? Probably the best bet to do. Okay, it also has a turn. Makes sense to reactivate Witch Bolt here. Five damage, not bad. That thing is almost dead. I mean, it does a lot of damage, obviously. Wait, Danny just skipped his go? All right, let's go ahead and dash with Shadowheart. So she can get over here and maybe push this lady off into the abyss. Let's just walk right up behind her. Oh, I can still shove her. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, well, it didn't work. Great. All right, let's get Lazelle in here to attack. Wow, now she can't get there. Okay, great. Oh, I can push her like this, though. Yes, it worked. Eight damage. Not bad at all. Uh, all right, now let's go ahead and pin her. Misses. Lol. I'll just put the cat down here for now since it can't really do much. And end turn. Whoa, okay. I think she just missed Gale with an attack. Oh, she used Misty Step. And now she's above next to Gale, I think. Doing tons of damage. Paralyzed, okay. I really need to deal with the commander before this uh, spectator dies, to be honest. I'll mark this drow scout, and then I'll go ahead and shoot him. It missed. Wow, okay, great. Let's move Danny back here, just so he can't really be seen by the enemy. Gale's turn. Now, Gale could actually kill this if he reactivated his bolt. I'm actually thinking maybe we could be smarter and attack someone else. I'm going to go ahead and just use magic missile on her. Oh my god, it killed her. Holy crap, that's good. And we can still reactivate Witch Bolt next turn, which is really nice. Now, I could also push this guy off. 35% chance is pretty low. All right, I won't do that then. What I'll do is I'll walk over here and see if I can enter sneak mode. Okay, that's actually worked. Great. End the turn. Now it's Shadowheart's turn. All right, let's jump down here. Let's jump up here with our cat and see if we can attack this guy. Yay, free damage. Great. All right, let's run over to help our cat with Lazelle as well. I think I might just end up having to uh, shoot him, though, for now. Oh, she actually hit. Wow, that's surprising. What's this guy going to do? He's running upstairs. He might yeet Gale. This thing is still alive. Hiding successful? Gale has somehow hidden from this guy. He lost his concentration. Oh, Shadowheart. Resist the power paralysis. Critical hit. This is good. I can kill the Spectre whenever I feel like it. I think we move Danny here, then I can probably kill that other guy. Finish off the Drow Scout. That's probably the best thing to do. I missed. All right, let's just go and hide then. Gale, what's the best thing to do here? I mean, I can always push him off. 100% chance of him sneaking. Let's do that. What? It has 100% chance. 100%. What does that mean? Let's use magic missiles. Whoa, what is that damage I do? Dude, that's insane. 
can't go back into sneaking now, but that's fine. All right, Shadowheart. This guy's on one health, so I reckon we can try and kill this thing, to be honest. Can I get into combat? It's slightly too far. Maybe if I can jump, though, let's go down, and then we can jump over. No, what are you doing? Why would you do that? This game is dumb. Yeah, great. Honestly, like, come on. Sometimes this, the controls are so finicky, it triggers me immensely. I'm just gonna try and shoot this drow. Okay, I actually hit a 10. That's nuts. Now go down here. Um, we'll end our turn. Oh, there's another drow scout. I completely missed this one. When did that... Oh, mate. It might kill Danny. Spectator's charm. Oh, God. It's running away as well. This puts us in a stupid situation. Shadowheart's been one hit killed as well now. Because she literally killed herself by jumping off a cliff. Great. So there's this drowse just here. Maybe I can push him down. That's what 100% looks like. Thank you. I'll go ahead and shoot him down. 100% chance to hit. Nice. We use a fire arrow, actually. Since he's prone inside that, he should take even more damage, maybe even die. So there's a Drow Scout just here now. Let's try and push him off. Wow, it works! Holy crap, he took 15 damage. That's fantastic news for us, friends. I have a 100% chance of hitting Acid Splash, so let's just do that. Six damage, and he's sitting in a pool of acid. Maybe it kills him. Kind of should have just used Magic Missile, because that's like 100% kill guaranteed okay Lazelle needs to heal her oh Lazelle's paralyzed and Shadowheart can't move so I guess we die just gotta end my turn if that drow scouts finishes Shadowheart thank god okay it's killed the beast I really want Shadowheart to save her next throw otherwise we're screwed okay he's still prone Okay, I think he attacked Lazelle, but I had, like, some lag there. That was weird. Uh, right, Danny, you're going to have to heal Shadowheart, I reckon. Because otherwise, on her next turn, she might die. I'm just going to try and kill one of these because... Oh my god, it had 85% chance to hit! Dude, what? The only other thing I can do is, like, teleport next to her. And then maybe push... Gale might be able to save the day here, to be fair. If I use magic missile. I have three projectiles. 100% chance to hit. One for you and two for you. This could work. Holy crap, we actually did it. Okay, okay. So Zell's turn. She's still paralyzed for another turn, apparently. Is that the only enemy remaining? Yes. Okay, so just this drought on two health. Oh, luckily it shot at Danny. Not Shadowheart, please. Okay, Danny, this is your chance. You can finish this. Okay, there we go. Thank God, Shadowheart's saved now. Let's just push her. Okay, she just <laughs> she she just ignored it. Okay, here we go. We can finish it with Gale here. Yeet! Holy moly, that was such an intense. <laughs> What is happening? Why are we dying? Christ, why is Danny dead now? What was that? All right, Shadowheart, just heal Danny again. Now, can I camp? Yes. Let's just get everyone on full health. Man, my heart is beating. All right, let's loot these drow scouts. Dude, short bow, leather armor. They're pretty equipped. What do this one have? Gold, ruby ring, leather armor. More over here. More gold. What's crazy though is I'll, I'll loot that giant Sauron's eye in a second. Uh, let me just run up here quickly because we have all this gold here. Like some kind of offering, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's shoot this. There we go. Oh, no, no, wait. The gold. Okay. The gold's still here. 550, 110, 110, 110. There's almost like a thousand gold there. Uh, and this drown. 
purple fluoride shard so we can pick those up because they're also worth like 25 gold each there's another drow scout here um scale armor they're all pretty equipped you know um then we have the backpack down there uh okay let's go and grab the eye of sauron then there's nothing in it okay <laughs> it's always depressing when you kill big creatures like that Man, that fight just kept escalating there. Goodness me. Alright, there's some other dead drows up on the top here that we killed, I think. Yeah, the commander. She was like the main leader of the, these drow. It's a pity because I really wanted to talk to them and like save them after, but they just started killing us. Peridot ring. Okay, well, doesn't really make sense for you to have that anyway. So now we need to fast travel to the Underdark beach and... Go on the path to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. I've already killed all of the enemies here. Water damage letter. Oh, did we not read this? One second. A water damage letter imploring the recipients to be cautious around the far shore of the Ebon Lake, as Durgar are rumored to be prowling in the area. Well, it's a bit late for that. We've killed pretty much all of them, though, so let's see what happens. This is the skiff. Once you board this raft, you'll head to the end of early access. Do you want to continue? Now, as I said, guys, I don't know what happens if there's like a cutscene or something after we press this, but we are going to be doing future episodes because there's another part of the map I didn't cover um, on the on the overland area. And also, um, there's lots of other cutscenes and options and choices that we haven't done. So this is not the last episode. If you want to stay up to date, subscribe, press the bell notification icon, and YouTube will let you know whenever they're uploaded. So here we go, guys. It's been a hell of a journey. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. Board and sail into the darkness. Here we go. I look sick, man. That armor set we got. God damn, son. Oh, one sec. What's this? Elf! What are you doing on Gek's raft? Where's Gek? Who are you? As the symbol glows, power courses through you authority hmm so we can use the illithid wisdom um however we shouldn't be able to use this i don't think maybe it's a bug because we have the ring that suppresses our powers which means we can't use the powers but also the worm can't get any stronger correct me if i'm wrong on that but that shouldn't be there right we can also use a deception i'm afraid gek is dead he fell fighting the myconids not entirely false. We did kill him with the Myconids, even though we sided with them. Push the Durgar into the water. Attack. <laughs> I'm going to try and push him into the water. I better get an animation for this. We need nine. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> really wanted that one. Get him, fellas. Get him. Whoa. Okay. We should have just attacked first. Now we've lost the initiative. Oh my god, that hit Gale for 18? You know, they've just released a patch that said people so wouldn't focus Gale as much, but Gale is literally just being pelted by arrows right now. Guarantee this mage walks up and hits, yep, Gale. Who else but Gale? Okay, so Gale's pretty much almost dead. <laughs> We've got a tooltip for shared initiative because that's never happened before. That's good to know. Okay, so let's go ahead and heal Gale. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Can I push this guy? No, I can't at the moment. All right, so maybe I should just... You know, we've learned that throwing things is extremely powerful. So maybe I should throw something at the enemy. Like this fire wine barrel just here. That's a good shot right there. Yeet. Now we can set that whole boat on fire, mate. That's going to be good. If Gale survives until the next turn. So, I can't move past this guy. I could shove him. We'll use a fire arrow onto these guys here. 
Haha, <laughs> look at that damage. That's beautiful, mate. That is beautiful. Okay, right. I'm now going to push this Novice Greymon. He sounds like a Digimon. Oh! <laughs> That's what I wanted. Just him disappearing into the ocean. That's quite funny. I don't know if he had anything unique. I guess we'll never know now. Um, okay, I'm actually going to run back here with Danny. Because I want to get the high grounds. They're taking damage. What? She's enlarged herself. Hmm. I know you guys wish you could do that, right? They are all mages by the looks of it. Scouts and whatnot. So it actually might be within our best interest to jump across it. Let's use our jump ability here. And then we can jump even further. So where do I want to jump? Maybe behind this guy just here. Here we go. Wee! Oh, okay, I'm on fire. That's actually a bit of an awkward one. Uh, but we can obviously attack. Do you know what? I might action surge since I'm now on fire. That's just very awkward. Then attack this one with despair. 16 damage and frightened. Move out of the fire. So hopefully she only has one turn of burning left. Gale's turn. Okay, Gale. I mean, we could cast fog just here so they can't attack. I mean, that's going to be pretty effective, right? <laughs> that's really good for us. They're going to have to come on our boat now. Um, and then I'm going to jump over here so we're not on fire. Maybe if I just stand at the back here behind Shadowheart, we won't get yeeted by the enemy. Do I have any health potions? No, I do. Everyone's just on fire and blinded. This is perfect. He's used blur on the mage. I'm going to throw some more oil at them. Since they're all so bunched up. And throwing things is funny. Oh my god, that is devastating damage. Doing a lot of AoE on them here. I love that. Okay. Could go ahead and use Bane on them as well, actually. We can get their whole party here. Oh my god. One resisted it. The rest are now Bane's. It's really good for us. I'm just going to go sit down here. And we'll end our turn. Danny's turn. Okay. If I go up here, I could probably have advantage over shooting them. So let's do that. And then who do we want to take out? Probably the Alchemist is pretty low. Let's use Hunter's Mark on the scout. And then just shoot him down. 14 damage. Pretty good. I mean, the lower they are, the faster they burn to death, right? Oh, she's doing a lot of damage to herself. She's only got three health left. And she's on fire. Maybe it's a waste of a hit, though. Because I could just jump over there and then just start going ham on her, too. You gotta be careful what we're in contact with. Um, okay, that's the end of Lazelle's turn. Now it's Gale's turn. Alright, Gale, what are you gonna do? I could probably magic missile some and just, you know, win the fight here. Oh, I probably should have saved that one on low health for the magic missile. Two over there and one there. That will kill both of them, actually. Perfect. They are both down. Now end our turn. This Dirge Scout is going to kill... Whoa, critical hit on Danny. I don't think he could see Gale. Wow, okay. Whoa, one sec. Is Danny dead? Okay, Danny died in the camp. That's the first character we've had just die, because he was full health, and then he just got double crit, man. That's nuts. I can actually jump across here. I'm going to do... I'm just going to hit this guy. Free damage, not amazing. End of turn. Lazelle's turn. Jump up over here. I'm just going to absolutely eat this guy. Oh, we can cleave. Let's cleave him. He's almost dead and he is low now. Okay, great. Oh, he died to the fire. She's going to get a free attack, right? Yes. 15 damage on that free attack. That's nuts. As you cross the dark water, you remember your capture and infection, your harrowing escape from hell, and the constant threat 
of becoming a mind flayer yourself. Never. Your search for a healer brought you to a druid's grove and the refugees sheltering there. You remember their gratitude when you stood by them. A hag promised she could extract the parasite inside you. But you didn't take her dark deal. One evening, a devil came courting, insisting that a cure was impossible. He said he'd come again soon enough. But he wasn't your only visitor. You remember the fear, the soothing words of the figure in your dreams, and the powers you gained the next day. I reject it. It hasn't that. been all bad, though. You fondly remember your night with Shadowheart. Your reverie is interrupted by an underground fortress appearing in front of you. The symbol of the Absolute is clear, even in the dark. You need answers. What game are the Mind Flayers playing? Is there even a cure? What are they doing at Moonrise Towers? And why are they looking for you? Amid this flurry of questions, you feel something else deep inside you. A hunger. A lust for blood. Soon. Wow, look at that. Another tadpole. All right, so, I want you to clean up all of this, okay? Gargoyle with a good curse over there. Explosive, explosive, and then over the... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the end of the early access content. We are still under development behind me here, so you can't go through. But congratulations, very well done on getting here. And in the name of everybody at Larian Studios, I would like to thank you for supporting us in early access. Now, uh, we take community feedback very seriously, so I would like to invite you to go to our community forums or go to the review pages in the store where you bought the game and let us know what you thought of your experience so that we can learn from it and use it to improve hey, the game. Hey, what are Let's get going. Uh all right, so I gotta go back together with this man here, continue to develop the game, but see you soon, because we'll have much more content for you right. as we continue to integrate feedback and support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to sing the song, right? Mm. All right, all right. Why doesn't do he have any trousers? Row, row, row your boat gently down the lane. Leave your comments, my friends, on what you thought of the early access so far. And send this over to Larian Studios for sure. What a playthrough, though. My god. I am... I was so impressed. I really thoroughly enjoyed that. And I can't wait for the next acts of the game to come out. If they're anywhere near as good as just Act 1 was, we are in for an absolute treat. That was incredible. Really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section. Now, if you're fortunate enough to be watching this, now the full game's out, you can just click the link below for the playlist and continue on watching the full playthrough but i just want to say thanks to you guys for watching the entirety of act one all the way through because it means the world to me guys thank you so much for all your support give the video a like if you did enjoy it and of course there is more to come on Baldur's gate 3 we'll also be covering assassin's creed in the future and cyberpunk despite its slight delay to the 10th of december which gives me more room to work on assassin's creed because before i didn't have any because obviously i'll be getting access to the game so i have loads of guides for you on day one of launch thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one goodbye and have a great day